who would volunteer to read what they've written? Yes. I, wrote, uh, I am hurt with Courtney because she doesn't tell me about her life. Okay, so um, would you like to do the work? Okay, let's do the work. Hey. My adult daughter, Courtney, doesn't live with me anymore, and she called me a few days before Christmas and told me she was moving. And I was quite shocked. Yeah. So she doesn't tell you about her life. Is that true? That's true. <laughs> That's what I have down. <laughs> <laughs> so she called you to tell you she was moving and she doesn't tell you about her life is it true no good <laughs> so just feel that for a moment it's, it's like we think the fire is all over us but in reality it's over there She's calling to tell us about her life, and actually, we're believing she doesn't tell us about her life. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, close your eyes, and you're on the phone with her. Is that, is that it? Yes. You're on the phone with her. You see where you're sitting or standing? Yes. I'm hmm? sitting on my bed. Okay. You're sitting on your bed, and you're, she's saying she... She's saying she's moving, and you're thinking she doesn't tell me about her life. Now, describe to us how you reacted, what you said on the phone to her, your attitude, how you react when you believe the thought she doesn't tell you about her life, when she's telling you about her life. Um, I was shocked. I was hurt. Um... Just devastated yeah. at the news. Yeah. All, all of a sudden, out of the blue. Yeah. Yeah. So, you fell apart, or did you come at her with an attitude? I did. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so close your eyes. This work is meditation. We're meditating on a moment in time. So close your eyes, and you don't have to guess. You're sitting on the bed. You see you there. You see you talking to her. You can hear her. Now describe your attitude. Describe, describe how you reacted when you had the thought, she doesn't tell me about her life. I was angry. I was really angry. And I said, what do you mean? And I was angry and hurt. And just, you know, who do you think you are to just call me up on the phone and tell me you're moving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you you attacked her. I attacked her. Yeah. 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 Okay. So just just yeah. experience that. Okay. So you see that in your mind's eye. Okay. Now listen to her. You know, before I move there, with your eyes closed, notice. She said she's moving. Notice the thoughts of, notice the images of past and future that went on in your head when you had the thought, she doesn't tell me about her life on the phone. What images of the future did you see? that I just won't ever see her again. Yes. And you also saw you alone without her. Yes. Okay. You saw that as you were sitting on the bed when you believed 
She doesn't tell me about her life. So you saw that image, and, and notice the, image, the images of the past as you were sitting on the bed. What did you see? I just saw her getting on a plane with her father when she was two. And saw when she moved out. And saw when I haven't seen her all these years. Yes. So now with your eyes closed, see you on the bed. Without the thought, she doesn't tell me about her life. Just witness you on the bed without the images of past, future. And just listen to her. She's saying, I'm moving. Without the images of past, future. Just listen. This is like saying, see where the fire actually is. It's like you're sitting on the bed, and then you see these images of past, future. And you, you experience this horrendous dream And you believe, you're believing the dream. Those images of past, future, that's the dream, the dream world. So drop the dream world. And who and what are you without the thought, she doesn't tell me about her life, who are you without these images of past, future? Listening to your daughter telling you she's moving. I'm excited. I'm excited for her. Yeah. And just stay there and hear now, experience now what you couldn't experience yeah. then. You were dreaming over reality. Understand that's what's meant by caught in the dream. There's a daughter telling you she's moving. A daughter telling her mother she's moving. And then there is mother the dreamer. And without the dream, the question is who or what are you? Yeah, I, I'm excited and curious and um, just in awe of how brave she is at what she's doing. That's your girl. Yeah. Yeah. Here she is. <laughs> A lot like her mother. <laughs> she doesn't tell me about her life. Turn it around. Mm. She does? She does tell me about her life. <laughs> Yes, she does. She tries. She, <laughs> she tries. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, she could have texted me. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't tell me about her life. So, can you see another turnaround? I. I don't tell me about my life. I don't. Yeah, in that situation, where is it that you weren't telling you about your life? You had the secret inner life. Those dreams of past future. So I don't tell me about the present, about my life. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, you were busy dreaming. Right, yes. She doesn't tell me about her life. Another turnaround, I don't tell her. 
I don't tell her about my life. Yeah. How would that sound? Listening to you, what I hear is, I love you, I don't want you to go further away from my life, and I love that you would, I'm excited for you at the same time, yeah. and I love that, that you called me even though you know <laughs> how I may take this news. <laughs> You know, I don't tell her about my life. Yeah. Yeah, I don't tell her about my life. I don't tell her right about the here and now. Wow, you're doing what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's look at statement two. Two. I want Courtney to text or call me often and before I call or text her. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Good. And let's turn it around while you're here. I want her to text or call me often before I call or text her. How would you turn that around? I want myself to text or call her often before. Huh? I want myself to text or call her often before she texts or call me, calls me. So uh, let's look at three. Three. Uh, in this situation, what advice oh, would I offer them? Courtney should trust me and talk to me. Really? <laughs> no. Mm. You see, no. We've, we've only done, th we're only on the third mm. one, and the way you saw the original situation is already flipped. Because you are more aware, more awake to yourself than when you wrote it. And it's already becoming humorous. It was there by the second one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thanks. So uh, she should trust. <laughs> she should trust you and talk to. You. Let's turn that one around. I should. Um, I should trust her. I should trust me and talk. To, oh, oh, I should trust her and talk to her. I should trust her and talk to her. And then when you meditate on that, you contemplate that, with everything that's been shown to you, it begins to enlighten you, enlighten you, enlighten you even more. So can you see another turnaround? She should trust me and talk to me. Um, I should trust her and talk to her. And what's the opposite of talk? Text. Listen. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> but the opposite of talk could be listen. So, so I should... Um, trust her. Trust her and listen to her. Uh, I should trust her and listen to her. So you see how we've taken talk and turned it to listen. Those are turnarounds. So let's look at four. Okay, four. Uh, I need Courtney to want to tell me things about her life. So considering the woman on the phone, is that true? No. No. No, it's not even something you want. So, how do you react when you think this thought and you're on the phone with Courtney? I need her to want to tell me things about her life. I feel awful. I feel hurt. I get tense. I... Yeah. You get 
you know, your images of past future, what you're believing doesn't allow you to even hear that she is. Yeah. That she is telling you things about her love. So listen to her. Who would you be without the thought, I need her to want to tell me things about her life? So just listen to her on the phone. The way that, just see if you can hear the words that she was saying, actually saying on the phone call. Mm -hmm. So meditating there and listen. I need me to want yeah. to listen to things about her life. Wow. Pretty calm and excited and um, wow, yeah. It's a beautiful, it's very different. Yeah, it's a, a different way. It was going on. Yeah. It was actually going on other than what you were thinking and believing and reacting to. Mm -hmm. There was no place where your daughter was. You were just like um, imagining who she was, imagining before and after. It's like she wasn't even on the call yeah. for you. Yeah. True, that's true. Can you see another turnaround? So it's like a five. Okay. You see why we write it down? Mm. It's like, you know, if I hadn't written it down, and this were my work, I, which it always is, um, it, would, it would be, oh, I don't need to know the rest. I've, I don't need to do any more. I've got it. Mm. You know, it's... Eventually, everything you think ends in a question mark when you take this on. It's like, oh, I don't need to do it. Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I've already got this. You see, it's just question mark, question mark. And it doesn't sound like a lilt. It's just there. That question mark is there. It's like that little boy, I didn't like, I didn't like him. Like, I didn't like him. <laughs> you know, it's that, is it true? It's so silent. But it becomes a part of your, a, a mechanism in your mind that is, it's like a bridge from believing to non-believing. And in the non-believing, you're shown you know, this is unnecessary. It's, it's obvious. Without judgment. It's so organized. You know, the Beatles had it. They said, let it be. <laughs> Just let it be. Notice. For example, on this phone call, you know, without the dreamer, just let it be, and there she is. There's your baby. Telling me about her life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even with all the interruptions coming from you, there she was. So five. Courtney is scared, hurt, angry, selfish, and capable. So I am scared, hurt, angry, selfish, and capable. Let's turn around. <laughs> and six. So let's oh. look at Courtney is selfish. Is it true? No. She's not. In that conversation. Now you're saying no. And so contemplate it. You could be right. Courtney is selfish. Is it true? So now I'm going to 
I am going to test yes. And I'm going to test no. Okay. Like, I believe she's selfish. Is it true? I want to be shown. I need to get really still. I judged it then. It was hasty. And I was crazy. So now it's sitting alone. In that situation, she was selfish. Is it true? Now I can contemplate. She's not on the phone. It's just me with me. I'm listening to that conversation. It's called, and I'm not even... It's like it's there for me to listen to. That's a gift. She's selfish, is it true? Remember, it's not, in, it's not forever and ever and ever. It's just in that situation. She's selfish, is it true? I think it's true in a good way. Wow. Well, that's yeah. like a double flip. Yeah. yeah. It's her self-preservation. <laughs> God, our children had the same mother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So listen to that conversation without the thought she's selfish. Who are you without the thought she's selfish? sitting on the bed, without the images of past future. Those images of past future were the proof that she's selfish. So without the post-its, who and what, who am I? I'm gracious, you know. Really taking in what she is giving you of her life. Above all odds, she's so she's selfish, turned around. Um, I'm selfish. So where were you selfish in the moment you believed she was selfish? I didn't listen to her at all. I didn't listen to her, what she wanted to tell me. Shit her with me. Yeah. Well, the beautiful thing is you can call her and... This is a life pattern of mine. It's, it's to admit it and to make it right any way I can. And in this situation, it would be to listen, to admit it, apologize, and then to just listen and say, I wasn't even able to hear you. I was crazy. Would you tell me again about your move? I really am going to try to listen through this head of mine that sometimes has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hard to hear. People scream at us. Hard to hear. Because we're believing over it. We're believing onto it. We're believing left and right of it. So let's turn everything around. My daughter is, what is the opposite, opposite of scared? Um, brave. Yeah. Brave. Opposite of hurt. Uh, mature? Mature. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Hurt is um, a tantrum. Okay. It's a sleepness. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just the life of a believer. You know, I can only be hurt when I imagine onto what you're saying or what I'm thinking. Okay. Angry. Opposite, Opposite of angry is um, at peace, peaceful. Opposite of selfish, my daughter is? Generous. Calling you, not hanging up on you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite of incapable. Um, she's capable. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you're meditating, you know, you're doing your 20 minutes or your hour or whatever it is, and just, just sitting in the stillness, for example, in that conversation, she's incapable, turn around, she's capable. Um, yeah, I've seen it in this 20 minutes, but I'm still going to honor that thought. That a, a thought that would create my entire world deserves a little consideration. So she's capable. So I'm going to look for that. I've looked for where she's generous, the opposite of selfish. And capable, where was she capable? My mind, my ego is going to say, oh, I already have seen that. Oh, you know, I'll just move on. But you have the rest of your lives to get still and she's capable. In that situation, show me and I'm not going to make nice with it, show me. I'm back in that conversation on the phone. I'm witnessing. Enlightenment comes. You ask. You, you open your mind. You ask. You wait. And you'll be shown. In that conversation, where is it that she was capable? So that next time I talk to her, I know who she is. I know who I'm talking to. Yeah. And I have a much better view of who she is. And so I can talk to her on a more mature level. And because age has nothing to do with maturity. If you're angry, <laughs> notice how you react. It's, it's three, five, six, seven-year-old behavior. And I don't know how to outgrow it. We can pretend, but it's still there. We call that maturity. Or we can literally get still, ask, and be shown. And it shifts. Because you're awake to it, and that's the difference. It's nothing you have to do. It's something you're awake to do. You're, you're awake to. Okay, precious. Let's Thank look you. at six. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't ever want to be told news by Courtney. Shocking news by Courtney again. I'm willing to. I'm willing to be told shocking news by Courtney again. I look forward to. I look forward to be told shocking news by Courtney again. Yes, and why? Because it shows you you've made some progress, maybe, or it shows you um, it it shows you what's left. It, it shows you the work that's left. Because anything my children would tell me that would shock me to a point that I would attack the least little bit, then my work's not done. <laughs> 